Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and today's review for you is Fresh Off the Griddle. Griddle is a 10% Imperial Stout from Burial Beer Company in Asheville, North Carolina. First off, huge shout out and thanks to Pete Johnston for sending me this beer from Burial Beer Company. This isn't a beer that I would generally come by. It's not something available in Michigan, and I appreciate him sending it my way to get a taste. Now, I've been trying to expand my reviews, and I'm still, you know, obviously Michigan-centric. I do want to widen my horizon a little bit. Now, I know that Asheville has a huge craft beer scene, and Burial is one that I hear a lot about. Now, you may also know that I've recently had another espresso stout in KBS Espresso, I'm not going to be com comparing griddle to espresso, but it's still on my mind, so it's going to be hard for me not to at least, you know, maybe mentally compare those two beers. That one, KBS Espresso, is barrel-aged. This one is not. It's just an imperial. But with that being said, let's take a look at the label. We'll get it into a glass. Fun fact, coffee is a fruit, and the beans are actually the pits of coffee cherries, which puts coffee in the category of stone fruit. So let's take a look at the can, look at the label here. So I'm not really sure which is the front, which is the back, but Burial has this really distinct style of can. This is kind of like a, it's almost like a clear label wrapped on an aluminum can. And across the top on the side that I'm looking at first says Burial Beer Company. It has uh, some wings in the background with a, with a uh, cow skull or a bull skull and these dragons and snakes kind of surrounding these, uh, these eggs on the front here. And then uh, on the side, it says 10% alcohol by volume, 50 IBU, and serve at 50 degrees. And then on the flip side, it says Burial Beer Company again. On the on the first side, it was black. This is kind of like a, a gray-green gray, kind of color. It has the cow skull again, or the bull skull. This time, it has a little bit more symbolism. Has some uh, has some two snakes kind of looking at each other with stars hanging down, some crescent moons on both sides. Lots of really kind of vivid imagery going. Burial has this really distinct look, like I said earlier. So this is not something out of the ordinary for, for Burial. And on the bottom of both sides, it says Griddle Imperial Espresso Stout. And then on the side, it says Brewed and Can by Burial Beer Company in Asheville, North Carolina. Imperial Espresso Stout Griddle. Behold the vibrant glare of life's everlasting penchant for satisfaction's zenith. We kneel before the temple of your desires and proudly offer you this gallant chalice. This cold black steel melds rich caramel and honey flavors with lactose sugars and just enough charred black malt to forge defining stout balance. The addition of a custom blend of roasted coffee beans from Asheville's Penny Cup Coffee offers bold roast, dark fruit, and the mild smokiness that drives the aroma. Sip slow, sit long. Imperial Stout brewed with espresso. And then on the bottom of the can, this was canned on November 13th, 2019, as of the time of this. That's about three weeks, maybe almost four weeks. And uh, yeah, so that's, it's, it's got the government warning. It tells you the illustrations by David Paul Seymour, which I think like I said, I think maybe I think it's the same artist that does all the all the can design. I could be wrong, but we got we got our glass here. I am ready to crack this open. This is twelve fluid ounces. Government warning, all that good stuff. All right, let's crack it. Not a lot of pop going on on that crack out of this can. I was expecting it to be a little bit more of a like a little bit more of a release of gas. Getting a lot of kind of smokiness, a lot of dark fruit aroma. Just out of the can, has a really distinct kind of uh, coffee smell, really nice stout aroma as well. Again, not barrel aged, so not a lot of, you know, you're not going to get bourbon out of this. You're not going to get some kind of alcohol smell outside of just the regular stout itself. Let's go ahead and pour this. It's almost, um, it's coffee colored coming out. It's a little bit, maybe a little bit of a light cola color coming directly out of the can. And I kind of try to get a little bit more aggressive there. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle on the pour itself, but the head kind of started to pop up afterwards, as you see from the overhead, and now it's kind of starting to fade quite a bit. It's maybe about a half a finger at best of head, and that was probably at its height. Let's go ahead and hold this one up. Very dark. Uh, it has, a, it has a, th a thinner brown kind of uh, coloration to the bottom in the bulb here. And on the nose, again, a lot of roasty kind of characteristics, a lot of this kind of dark fruit smell, coffee in there as well. An earthy kind of coffee aroma as well. So let's go ahead and down the hatch. Cheers. Wow, that is really, um, 
the aroma, I've got to say, the aroma didn't really have a lot of kick to it. It was kind of there. It kind of, eh, okay, it smells like a stout, you know, not a little, a little bit of coffee aroma going in there. What is actually in the glass here? Uh, 10%, let's start off with that kind of thing. 10%, this doesn't taste like 10%. The mouth feels a little bit on the light to medium side. It's a little bit more on the lighter side of medium. It's not, you know, it's not especially thick. It's not especially heavy. There's not a lot of a heaviness to it. It's kind of got a, a lighter kind of crisp mouth feel. It's got this kind of underlying sweetness, a lot of kind of that dark fruit sweetness really comes through on the start. As you kind of sw go through and swallow, you get a little bit more of that smokiness, a little bit more of that dark, roasty, malty flavor. It's not a, it's not a chocolate, but still, that dark fruit kind of flavor just sits there the whole time. It kind of go you go through the motions, and the that dark fruit just really sits there, and that's the overwhelming driving um, taste or flavor that comes through on this. Like a kind of a raisiny sweetness, maybe a little bit more sweet than raisiny, but you still get a lot of that dark fruit. You got a lot, get a lot of those kind of roasty malts, but not, not too much um, of the smokiness. Now I do get the smokiness more on the finish and the, the, with the finish and that smokiness also, that's where the coffee kind of comes in a little bit where you're getting this kind of earthy coffee flavor as well. So it's dark fruit, sweetness, uh, you know, on the upfront as, and that, again, that drives through the whole, the whole flavor profile from beginning to end, that dark fruit really sits in there really well. On the swallow, it almost seems like it gets th uh, sweeter as the swallow goes through, but that's where that smokiness comes in. And that's where that earthy espresso coffee flavor comes in as well. Again, I said at the very beginning, the thing that really struck me on this beer is that it's 10%. That's what it says on the can. It does not taste like 10%. I am, I, I'm just taking gulps of this to get the, the flavor because it's a really nice flavor, really solid. If you're a dark fruit kind of um, stout person, then yeah, I mean, this is, you're being, you'd be in hog heaven with this because it's that dark fruit just drives that flavor. And I, and I have to say like, there's not too many stouts these days. There's so many barrel aged stouts. There's so many barrel aged this. There's so many, you know, adjunct stout that that you don't get a lot of stouts that really drive and push through that dark fruit kind of flavor. And that's what I appreciate about this one. Again, it does tell you on the can here that you should be sipping this and not, you know, sip slow, sit long, just kind of let it sit with you, let it kind of warm up. But my desire on this is to really just gulp it because it's so good. It, it It's so smooth. It totally is dangerous because 10%, I'm not tasting that at all. Just over overall, just a really impressive beer. Big time thanks, Pete, for sending this to me because, yeah, this is, this is something that you need to try. It's something that, especially for all you Stout and Porter fans like me, but all you Stout and Porter fans out there, this is, you know, kind of like, it's just different. It's not, it, it's not going, it has a high ABV. It has a lot of flavor. It has a lot of that dark, uh, dark fruit flavor, like I said before, but you get it without all that adjunct. I mean, it has obviously has some adjuncts, but you, you're, you're getting out of it without getting all the kind of bourbon barrel this or, or barrel aged that. And that's what I really love about this one. All right, friends, that has been Griddle from Burial Beer Company in Asheville, North Carolina. Again, Big, huge thanks to Pete for sending this beer my way. Now, I'm going to be visiting Atlanta soon, so if you know any breweries I should check out or if you've had this beer before, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like I said earlier, it's mostly Michigan-centric, but I'm trying to get out of Michigan and do other beers as well. And the best thing about it is it's free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. If you have any suggestions for the channel or beards that I can try in Atlanta or, you know, just on my way down there, you can text me or leave me a voicemail at the Draft Therapy hotline at 224-DRAFT-20. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, absolutely most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.